So now we have created our Redshift cluster. Before we move ahead, let's create a table and then insert a da some data in our Redshift cluster. So it makes sense. So I'm gonna click my cluster, click on Query Editor, and over here we are going to create a table. So I'm gonna create a table. So basically it's just a table where we have a ID, URL and name. So we're just going to have a database of URLs. So we are going to create a table link in the public schema and I'm going to run the query. So it has a syntax issue. So I'm going to run my query again. So as you can see over here, the link table is created inside our public schema. So now I'm going to go back to glue and crawl our Redshift table. So again, we'll go to crawlers, add a crawler. The name would be, let's say, link crawler Redshift. Data store would be JDBC. But before we do that, So now I'm going to go to glue and let's create a connection. So I'm going to go to connections, add a connection, connection name, let's name it at Redshift, connection type as Redshift. Uh, we are going to skip the SSL step, click next. So we are, now we're going to select the cluster as glue demo. And because we have everything set up correctly, it just shows up over here. All the clusters will show up over here we have, otherwise it won't show up over here. So all those is taken care of by us. So we've created correct security groups, IAM policy, the S3 endpoint. And then I'm going to type my password, click next, click finish. So now connection is created. Now let's test our connection. So I'm going to go test the connection and the role would be AWS glue service role. And remember in this service role, we had given full access to Redshift. And so it should be able to access Redshift now once I click on test connection. So now it's testing Redshift access and this will take some really, really long time. So uh, we'll pause the video and come back once the connection testing is successful or not. So the connection is successful and it didn't take that long as I expected, but our connection is successful. It's green. So now let's create a crawler. So I'm going to go to crawlers. So we have this YouTube data crawler that we had created. So I'm going to add some for our link. Redshift crawler, click next. The data store, this time we'll have to select JDBC and the connection would be Redshift, the one we had created. So first of all, we'll have to select the database. So glue demo schema was public and name of our table link. And then click next, click next. Again, the I am role that we had created. Select that for glue, next, run on demand, the database. Now we can create a new database or add it to the existing database. So let's just create, add a new database it's called link. And then click next, click finish. So now we are just gonna select our link Redshift Clorer and run it. So now let's wait for it to run and complete and then we'll join back again.